Let me show you a few interesting ways of aligning things in Blender. So the very basic way of aligning stuff in Blender would be aligning things to cursor. So let's say I got a cube in here and it's rotated and I wanted to align another object to a face. So I'm going to go to edit mode and shift S with machine tools and move my cursor to face. If I do not hold alt and just simply click, my cursor will move and it will inherit the rotation of the face. So now if I'm going to, for example, run a cylinder and then shift S and move it to cursor, it's going to inherit its rotation, right? Another way of aligning would be to align object to object, okay? So let me just move the cursor back to origin and I'm going to nuke that, shift I and add a cylinder. And if I shift select this object, so they're both selected, right? So this one, shift select this one, right? Then I can use Alt-A tool from machine tools to align. So Alt-A and it's going to align my cylinder to the location, rotation, of this cube and you can also adjust the scale and other parameters here by default right so this is really useful because now what i can do i can move my cursor to you know for example to this uh, cylinder shift s and move cursor to select it and i can rotate this or array this around the cursor right so go to mesh tools with hard ops control click on radial array and pop your ankle right and you can press d to uh, displace it now, another way of aligning things would be to align things in edit mode. It's going to be the same shortcut, Alt-A, but in edit mode. So if I have a cube, for example, and let's say, you know, this face is slightly disfigured here, right? And I wanted to align it. What I can do is I can align edges, verts, or faces. Like, for instance, I could align this one, I could align this one, and I could align this one. It's just face alignment. Or... I could align verts, right? So I could align this vert to this one, you know, this one to this one, and you know, you, you're done, right? And you're also using this Alt-A menu to do it. Here too, we could just align this a little bit better. There you go, and we're back to a cube, right? Another way of aligning would be to use Straighten tool. So Control, control B this, right? And if I wanted to straighten this edge, what I can do is select this one, this one and this one with shift alt a and straighten or i could select this one this one and this one and then alt a and straighten right then alt text with mesh machine to symmetrize and then we can just simply dissolve this edge and bob junk right another way of doing this would be flattening with mesh machine so Select these two, right? Y and flatten. And you can also do it the other way around. So select this one and this one and flatten, okay? Then you also have alignment of the view. So for example, let's say I wanted to align myself to this triangle, right? I just combine them here for fun. So what I can do, I can go to Q menu with hard ops and go to mesh tools and align view and then you can hold shift and scroll hold control and scroll and also hold alt and scroll to change the alignment angle and then obviously you have vanilla alignment so if you hold alt the middle mouse button you can align yourself to any view really in terms of uh, you know top bottom back etc front you know and this is also useful and very quick and i use it quite a lot especially when i'm working in orthographic view now, these are just basics of Blender, really, and if you would like to learn more about Blender and you would like to learn more about the tools, the menus, the workflow, you know, creating some really awesome stuff in Blender in terms of hard surface, then you should grab our course, the Hard Surface Accelerator. The link is in the video description and in the comment pinned under the video. And if you would like to learn a bit more about add-on workflow, then you should grab our ultimate guide to hard ops and box cutter 2.0 both courses are best-selling courses they're amazing people absolutely love them and getting fantastic results that's it for the video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one